I'm going to show you how to invest in a CD. Not these CDs, but these CDs. Certificate of Deposit. I'm also going to show you what a CD is, what are the benefits, show you examples, and recommend the best places to invest in a CD. What is a CD? A CD is short for Certificate of Deposit. And it's very similar to a savings account that you may already have. But the difference is that in a CD, you put a fixed amount of money in a fixed amount of time and you get a fixed amount of earnings or rate of return. Let me show you an example so I can make this a little bit more clear. I am using bankrate.com to show you the CD calculator. And I'll put the website in the description box below. It's very easy. All you need to know is that the initial deposit, which is how much money you plan to put in the CD, over a period of is how long do you plan to have this money invested. Like I said earlier, you can have an agreement to invest this money for a couple of months or years. APY is an acronym for Annual Percentage Yield. This is the rate earned on an investment the bank will offer you. Okay, let's do an example with some numbers. Let's say you have $1,000 and you would like to make that money grow. And let's say you will not touch that money for at least three years. And the bank you chose gives you a 3.71% APY. And right away, you can see on the graph on the right side and your new balance at the end of maturity date, which is after three years. And you may think it's not too much, but think about it this way. The new balance is better than having the thousand dollars you would have initially. The biggest benefits of investing in a CD is when you're trying to buy a house in the future or save up for a wedding. So let's run these numbers again because you will love CDs after this. For example, you have $10,000 saved up right now for a house, but you plan to buy a house in the next three years. And let's keep the same APY. So in three years, you will have earned $11,154.80. Imagine that. And for me personally, I think investing in CDs are the best way to go for long-term goals. And I'll give you a quick example of what I did. So I knew I was going to take a trip in the following year. So what I did is that I invested in a CD every single month. So I had that money accumulated and it accumulated more all the way to the end of the year. And I had extra $100 that I could spend on this trip. They call that a CD ladder. So this is also a good strategy. So let's say you did want to buy that house in five years. So you would put a CD investment in a year, two years, three years, four years, and five years all at the same time. So that way every year you're getting a payout. And what you can do is after the first year and you accumulate that money, you put it in for another year, so on and so forth. So by the time you hit the fifth year, you have all that money accumulated. A lot of people do that because it's a good strategy to get a payout every single month, or in this case, every single year. So I know what you're thinking. This is too good to be true. What is the catch? I'm glad you asked. Here are some quick pros and cons about CDs. So let's start with the pros. Higher rates. CDs have better returns than savings accounts. CDs are safe. They are safe because they keep your money and the value of it never drops. Also my favorite, guaranteed returns. So whatever money you invest at whatever APY, this is what you will get at the end of maturity date. And make sure that they are FDIC insured. So here are the cons. They have early withdrawal penalties. You have to make sure that you don't need the money anytime soon because if you pull out the money too early, you will get charged with penalties and you will lose those interest rates you earned. Accessibility. This goes along with early withdrawal penalties because you can't put in money and take it out whenever you want like a checkings or savings account. And here's something that could happen, inflation risk. This could happen and this is when inflation has prices for goods and services change over time and so if inflation rises, then it can outpace your rate of return on your earnings on your CD. The good thing is that it doesn't happen all the time and in the end you still get earnings. But overall, between the pros and cons, you can see that there's more pros to investing in CDs than just leaving your money in a checkings account. For me personally, I invest in CDs a lot, whether it's months or years. Especially, like I said earlier, if I'm going on a trip or if I'm buying another house or whatever I need to do, then I know that I need to set some money aside and have that money grow on its own. Because trust me, even if you're getting $20 $50 or $100 at the end of the year, it's a lot better than not having that money. So now you're wondering, how can I start investing in CDs right now? Great question. So many banks and credit unions offer CDs. So where you can start right now is go to your current bank that you're currently using and check if they have any CDs. A lot of banks offer them like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, 
etc etc. You can check the current bank's website that you're using and find out from there. The only small downside about using banks is that they do offer very low APYs but some credit unions and other banks do offer very high APYs. You can also google which banks and credit unions offer the highest APYs or you can also use bankrate.com. This is the website that I showed you earlier on how to use the CD calculator. Below you will see some banks that offer CDs and the best part is that they will show you which ones are FDIC insured which is a must. It shows you the APY, the term, minimum deposit, and estimated earnings. Many of these banks and credit unions do offer a minimum deposit. I have seen a lot of banks and credit unions that say you need at least $500 to invest in one CD. And I've also seen some banks and credit unions that say that you need at least $5,000 to invest in a CD. But to start off and to try it for the first time, go to your current bank and try to invest in one CD. Try it out just to see if you like it or not. And from there, if you like it, you can branch out and start Googling which banks and credit unions offer higher APYs to get a better return. But my recommendation right now is go to your current bank and just try to open one CD at whatever the minimum deposit is. So if you're a beginner and have not invested in a CD before, that's what I totally recommend. But for others who have invested in CDs and are looking for a higher APY, let me know in the comments down below and let's look for some. Also, if you have any questions about CDs, let me know in the comments down below and I'll answer it right away. All right, well, I hope this video helped you out on how to invest in a CD and what a CD is because that's very important. And I really hope that the example helped you visually because for me I'm a visual learner so if I can see the numbers and see how it works it clicks more in my head overall have fun investing in CDs don't forget to like and subscribe because I will have more videos on personal finance on how to invest and how to use your money wisely thank you again so much and I'll see you guys soon